All right, so this this is what we've got done so far. Um, it doesn't look like much. <laughs> I've got almost the cover for that made, and this one's cut out. I just need to sew it together. So we're almost we're almost done with the bottoms. But what I wanted to do was fit, make sure they fit, because you can see, you know, we we decided to go with the cushions uh, going all the way down the back, as opposed to the backs going all the way across and these just sitting on top. So it looks like they, it's tight. It's a tight fit, but I think it'll be fine. And I'm gonna make these pretty tight so that they'll be brought in a little bit more. Um, so now what we have to do, these are the ones that we've just been dreading to do. So this is the pattern that fits in that corner right there. So we've got lines drawn. You can see that there's a line there. There's a line over here too. And this we need to cut in such a way that it will fit back in that corner. You can see it's kind of angled. It's got a little bit of an angle at the bottom. So um, I just did a rough cut so that we could make sure that we have enough. I think we're going to have to cut a little, maybe a little wedge out of the middle to make sure it sits okay. We'll see. And that's where we are. Yeah, I like that thing. It does a nice job. It does do a nice job. So what we need to do is line it up on the back, well, I this think. this thing tucks. Almost. Yeah, it needs to be trimmed. It needs to be trimmed, but... How about this? How about we... Yeah, there you go. And then we need to make some marks on the front to make sure we get the angle right, right? So we did some initial trimming and I left it a little fat on her lines. Jenny made, Jenny traced the lines on the pattern we made the last time we made a pattern. This little saw blade freaking shaves it pretty good. I mean, we took, I went back through and had to widen it a little bit and ended up with just a paper thin. So yeah. All right, so now we gotta cut some wedges out of this thing and then glue them together so that they uh, um, build the curve. So kind of like this, and then when you glue it all together, it maintains the curve so that the upholstery fabric doesn't bunch up. Or, well, let's hope. So, I don't know exactly how deep to go. Better. Dude, this on. one isn't. It? That's not good now. Why? Because I'm further than. Uh, uh, can you scooch it that way? Scooch it down. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm a dummy. Is that better? Oh, it's like it's actually. Yeah, that's why best not to trim off the ends until we figure out the middle. This is That's it's better. pretty effing close. This is as good as it's going to get. So because of the... It's, it's narrower down This there. thing radiates this way yes. out. So the whole... You can uh, you can see what I did here. This is a big... This is a vertical line here and a vertical line here. When you take this piece out, it actually looks trapezoidal with the arc on the top and the bottom. So yeah, it's not a perfect square because as you go around a corner, plus the way this thing has a back batter to lean in this curve, it's really exaggerated at the top and the bottom here with, by the two radiuses are different sizes. So in order to accomplish that, this wedge actually had to be wider at the bottom than at the top. And you know, I'm just faking my way through it, but now I'll know better on that side, on the aft side to do the same thing when I lay it out. But I think once we punch it all together and put a lot of spray adhesive in there, this thing's gonna fit in there. Okie dokie. We're gonna use some sticky stuff and glue these little miters. Use a lot of glue. Sure. Thank you. 
that reusable actually. So we're finally getting the corner cushion done. Um, so the dilemma has been that I need to sew the cover for these, but they need to be in this shape. And you can see on that one, we cut out the middle parts and then just some wedges and glued them together. Well, the glue didn't stick very well. So when I got back to the apartment to sew them, I couldn't actually determine what the shape was supposed to be. So I couldn't put the Dacron on because it wouldn't stay in the shape. So I brought them back and that's what we're trying to figure out how to do here. This is kind of jagged. We're going to clean this up a bit. So what we did was we wrapped, we put the corner pieces in, we wrapped it with Dacron. And then for the front, you know, we've got a bunch of extra material here. So I cut it down the middle and then we glued it and I just need to finish cutting out like some of these, this part. Um, or not. I mean, it won't show. It's fine. And then we're going to staple it like we did everything else. And then it will be in this shape. And then I can make the cover that will hopefully fit this. Hopefully. Is, is anybody have any suggestions on how to do this better? Because we're just kind of making this up as we go along. It's pretty much our motto. It really is. Okay. So there it is, Dacron wrapped. It's tight, for sure. I mean, this cushion is in there snugly. Yeah. What about the, uh, is it too wrinkly on there? Or is that gonna be okay? I hope it's gonna be okay. Here you mean? Yeah. We'll try to, I guess we, on the next one, we'll just try to pull it a little tighter. That. It's just going to be what it is. I mean, that's it. Yeah, I just split it down the middle and. Uh... I don't remember how we did this. And make sure it's pulled tight. Like around the edges. Yeah, which is kind of verify that the uh, pattern that, they ha that I have is still the one that fits. Okay, weirdo. Grab the other one. Hey, dude, I'm holding the camera. You know they go long ways, right? Yeah, uh, you're, that's up to you. The zipper's on the bottom, babe. Oh. Um. That's the other thing. Where am I going to put the zippers on these? I guess along the back. So this is the piece for the boxing here. I just need to make sure that it's the right length and it's going to work. And then this is the bottom boxing. It goes on the bottom down there. This is the back side. It goes along here on this side. So what I don't have is a pattern for this front piece. So I've got to make one of those. Or just do measurements. Like I just have to take measurements from here. And that one here. Bottom boxing. We're just verifying the pattern lengths are correct. Thirty-five and a quarter. Yep. Yeah. Almost the same as the other one. Oh, is it? Thirty-nine and three eighths. Half three eighths. 
Half is there. Creates. Creates is one in. 39 and creates. That's what it looked like. 39 and all. Yeah. 39 and 316. 39 and a quarter for all intents and purposes. 39 and a quarter. Perfect, right? This is the same. Okay. So I'm going to do it from, ignore this little piece on here. Really? Yeah, right now. Why? Because this is something I was, this is what I was more. doing when I was trying to figure it out on my own, like at, with the right curvature okay. uh, at the apartment. 41 and 5 eighths. 41 and 5 eighths? That's what I'm calling it. Make sure that you know that it only goes to there if. I'm not an idiot. What? Marry me. <laughs> what? Forty-two and a quarter. Forty-two and a quarter. Yeah. What do we have? We're not. Forty-one and eight. Well, you added a piece too. You added that much to it. That's all down here. Let me change this one. Well, they're not the same. Forty-two and a quarter. And a quarter. Well, a little less. No. Oh no, this was forty-one and five eighths. This was forty-two and a quarter. There you go. All right. Measure twice, cut once. 37 and a quarter. God. Yeah, it's time to, it's it's time to take a break for neat. It's time to eat some more. Up there. 41 and three quarters. 41 and five eighths to there, which is an eighth bigger than 41 and a quarter. How do we have 42 and a quarter? I don't know. Let's try remeasuring this. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're looking for 41 and three quarters. Come on. No whammy. What do you got? Closer to 40. Let's 41 see, and three quarters. Eights. Yeah, three quarters. 41 and seven eighths, it looks like. Yeah. All right, write that down. That makes that's, more that's sense. three eighths of an inch. Yeah, forty one and three quarters, forty one and five eighths. They're within an eighth of an inch of each other. So this is how we did the zippers, and I did them on the back, um, not quite in the middle, a little bit higher, so they're not quite halfway down. And I put this little cover over it to kind of hide it, and you don't really see it. And they're they're pretty easy to get the cushions in and out of having it open like that. All right, so this is the final result, I guess, um, for all the cushions. So I got all the covers sewn on, and you can see, I mean, we actually did two different things in the corners here. In this corner, I tried to see if putting a seam on here, there's two little like pleats kind of, so I put two little darts on there to see if it would, what the shape would be. And then that's it without the, without the darts. So actually I don't have a preference. I think they're both fine. And they're actually really comfortable when you sit. Which I guess is all that matters, right? Yeah. We got a chilling spot now. Except for all the crap that normally that sits on top of this table. <laughs> Freaking rearrange the boat to... <laughs> yeah, but anyway, there's our U-shaped settee. <sighs> so it's not too bad. Yeah, better than before. Better. Yeah. I think they fit better. I think they stay in place better. Like when the boat heels over, they don't just go yeah. sliding all and over the, the boat. And these are pretty darn tight. Yeah, it's these a, oh yeah, these, these pieces just don't work, just fall out. No, I don't Everything. think. That's it for this one. Way to go, Mrs. Sailwright. Yeah, I think you did pretty good with that sewing machine.